Hey guys, welcome to the next video on shell scripting tutorial for beginners. In the last two videos, we have seen how to use functions in shell scripting. Now, in this video, to consolidate our knowledge which we have gained in the last two videos, we are going to take an example. And then from this example, some more concept will be clearer to you. So let's start with the example and then we will discuss about the concepts. So what we want is we want to check whether a file exists or not using our script. So whenever user runs this script with an argument and this argument will be a name of the file, for example, and uh, the script will check whether this file exists or not and then it will print. Now this example we have seen in the last videos also, but in this video we will use first of all functions and then we will use some more concept so let's get started so let's say our function name is does file exist or is file exist uh, right so is file exist and then uh, we will just use these brackets and these curly brackets right right now we want to pass an argument uh, so the name of the file we want to pass as an argument so what we are going to do is we will just declare a local variable we can say it's file right or file name you can uh, name it anything and this is a first argument so dollar one is the first argument to this function right this we have learned in the last video now we want to check whether this uh, file exists or not so we can use these double square brackets for that right now in the previous video you also know that uh, minus f flag can be used to check whether the given uh, you know file is a really file or a directory or whatever right so now we have this file uh, you know variable which is a local variable which comes from this argument so we will check whether this file is really a file or not so we will just say dollar file and then this will give us true or false right now notice i'm not giving any if conditions here right i'm going to use the return value so this uh, if you uh, are familiar with uh, some other programming language you may know the ternary operations so we are checking whether one operation is true depending upon uh, the you know result if it's true we will return some value otherwise we will return some other value right so we will just use double and operator and then we will return zero i will explain you what i'm writing or i will return one okay so let me explain you what's happening with this line so we already know that this can be used to uh, you know check whether file exists or not right so we will either get uh, true or false or in the terms of this script we will either get one or zero so when in the condition if file exists we will get one right now uh, if you know the program flow or how uh, a, a program works whenever we get one in the first condition and whenever there is end here so for example there is end and we have uh, the other condition right or so condition two I will just write con2 right so whenever this is one right so it it's true here and when it's true then program flow is not going to check this one or uh, this will directly jumps to the or condition because we just want to see if this condition is true or not right so in the end condition we will uh, check if it's zero then it's go it goes to the next end operator which is this one so if it would be zero then 
it is going to go to the return 0 uh, you know operation because here is 0 and then uh, if we are not getting 1 here then program cannot move uh, forward. So, it is going to check whether the other condition is true or not and so on right. But here we know that first condition is already too true. So, it is going to directly go to the return 1 condition right and if it is false for example, if, if it is false then it is going to check the second condition which is return true and it gets the return uh, 0 here and then it is going to return 0 right. So, in case of uh, file does not exist it will be 0 and then it going it is going to check the other part of the end operation. If it is 1, it is already got its uh, true value. So, it is going to go to the next uh, operation which is in the OR operation. So, first of all we will check whether user has given any argument or not with the shell scripting right. So, we will once again use these double brackets and then if you remember this dollar hash which is a built in uh, variable is going to return us the number of uh, arguments number of arguments which are given with the script. So, this is going to give us the number of argument and if this number uh, of argument is equal to 0 then we will say we want to do something or we want to show some message to the user. So, for this I am going to uh, you know create some uh, usage function for example. So, I am going to just write usage here and let us create this usage function here for example right. So, usage and then we will just use this curly break brackets and this just simply uh, for example print some message and exists. So, we are going to print uh, for example, so we will just echo uh, this uh, message that you need to provide an argument and we will just uh, give the usage of uh, this uh, script also. So, we need to provide the name of the script and the file name right. And if the file name is uh, supplied and argument is for example, more than uh, 0 then uh, we will go forward right. And then what we are going to do in the next step we will just check. So, we will use if condition and then uh, we will call this function, but let us first give uh, for example, then and we want to use else also here. So, we will write else and then fi to end the if condition. So, we will call this function if file exists we are going to uh, get the true value and then we will print the message. So, here we will just give the first argument. So, dollar one. Now, bear in mind this is the first argument of this function and this is different. This is the first argument which is provided to the script right. So, this is the first argument because it is inside a function. This is the first argument provided to the function right and this is the first argument which is provided to the script right. So, these uh, two uh, declaration of dollar one are different ok. And then if file exists we will just echo uh, that file is found or file found. Otherwise, we will just print file not found right. So, let us print file not found ok. Now, let us run the script. Let us first do ls here list all the files which are there in my desktop directory. So, this there is only one file which is the script itself right. So, let us create one file. So, I am going to just uh, touch for example, file 1 dot txt here ok and then I am going to press enter and then I am going to do ls and now I have a file name called file 1 dot txt. So, I can just uh, run by this my script and then first of all let us not give any argument here. 
we know that we need to give a file name as an argument with the script but let's provide a wrong argument or no argument here and then just press enter and then it says you need to provide an argument usage is the script name and then the file name and i also see this message that local command not found because it's spelled wrong so it should be local not local or local right so this keyword should be local right so now next attempt we will give the name of the file and then press enter and now we will see file found so what we have learned from this uh, video or from this example two things we have learned we have already learned how to use functions but we learned that this dollar one and this dollar one are different this is for the argument which is provided with this one right with uh, the calling of your script and this is the argument which is provided to the function right and we have learned how we can use and and or operation without the if conditions right you could have uh, used this in uh, different conditions also so you could have you know uh, written if this is this and then return zero or one this could be also done but it can take more number of lines right so if you are not uh, comfortable with this code then you can always switch to if conditions like normal if conditions and then also you can uh, you know get your result okay so i hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now